The Office of Management and Budget official Daniel Werfel is to become the new acting head of the Internal Revenue Service. He's an alum of the George W. Bush administration. We'll have that and more right here, right now on the News Hub. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. With the details of this appointment, we've got Damien Paletta. He's joining us now from Washington. D Damien, uh, thanks for being there. This has got to be like walking into a buzzsaw if you're uh, Danny Werfel. Sure, yeah. I mean, it's interesting. He's really known as uh, a behind-the-scenes guy. He's the essentially the chief financial officer for the U.S. government right now in his role as controller. He, you know, he's in charge of managing the money that goes in and out of the government and has a big role in the budget process. But it's going to be a real high-profile job for him, and we're going to see if he's up to the task. I mean, he's only 42 years old. He's yeah. essentially spent his whole career in the federal government, and now he's going to be thrust into this really tough uh, situation where, where all eyes will be on him. Yeah, all, all eyes in spades. Um, all parties will be looking at him. Now, he also had a role in the George yeah. W. Bush administration. Is that is that part of why he's a good pick for the appointment? So he's not seen as partisan because there is there is worry that the IRS had become partisan. Sure, I mean that, it's actually kind of a gamble for the White House to put someone who's clearly a political figure in their in their White House into this job. But I think that you know he does have a good relationship with a lot of Republicans who worked with him during the Bush administration because he was part of the yeah. Bush administration's yeah. Office of Management and Budget in a lower level position then, um, and so. You know, he has a reputation and a relationship with those guys. Maybe that'll help him. Maybe it won't. We'll have to see. Because like you said, there's going to be a lot of people that are gunning for big changes at the IRS. And I don't think, you know, appointing one person there is going to be enough to satisfy Republicans. Yeah, I, well, there's a lot of questions to be answered, of course, about the, ho the whole situation in the IRS. Now, I understand he's, been a, he's agreed to take the appointment until September the 30th. Um, does that mean, or can we read anything into that? Does that mean he won't stay on after that? Does that mean he's definitely a transitional figure? Or is that just what he's agreed to so far? You know, that, that might have been a smart move by the White House because they could always try to nominate him to, to a full term. But this way they can let Republicans know that they want to put someone else in the job. Maybe Republicans will, will try to work with them to find someone that both parties can agree to. But the White House can also say if they like him there, that, that they'll try to keep him there as well. But I think, you know, he, he's... Um, you know, often a behind, like I said, a behind-the-scenes guy who knows the numbers, who works on government efficiency projects, and could probably come in um, and be seen as apolitical. But whether he can stay apolitical, you know, that remains to be seen. Okay. Do you think we will see um, more people exiting the IRS um, regarding this scandal, and, and will will he be coordinating that and, and and having to sort of be the bad guy? That's a great question. Uh, I imagine that we probably will see some more, whether it's in Washington or whether it's in Cincinnati. It's too hard to tell right now. But, you know, Republicans have made clear that there's a lot of heads they are, that are going to have to roll here. And, you know, the IRS is doing its own kind of internal audit of, of what exactly happened. But it seems like there's a lot of things that went wrong. And it's hard to imagine that just one person at the top is all that's going to leave. I have a feeling we're going to be hearing a lot about this. I think it's going to come out in drips and drabs. It'll be very, very interesting. Thank you very much, Damien Paletta. Sure. Okay, and more on that on WSJ.com.